Now raise your hand if you had trouble with it. You had trouble? Uh, got it, got it, you know. More than likely you're having trouble with that, right? Okay, so it's just a matter of learning how to pop your hips in, bringing that knee out and up, which really brings your hips in and your, and, uh, and your knee out. And literally, off your, your knee comes off the mat, okay? All right, uh, we've got to move on, though. Um, let me just show two things, though. Uh, another two things that he can do to, to counter you, to go down to. Uh, one of the things is, I, I, I brought the eight beater into effect, but sometimes I'd run into a, a situation where the guy just really knows you're good, so he just starts burying his head. And that's when he, that's when you take both egg beaters <laughs> and you get in there and you just go to town for about two seconds, all right? And it's not like you start doing this and the ref kicks you out of the match. You just go in there and go like that. See how subtle that was? One more time. Just get in there, dig it out, catch. See that ladle? All right. So that's one one thing that he could do. The other thing is he just tips you back down. And we talked about that one too. Did anyone try coming around and hooking? Raise your hand if you did. Was it easy? Okay. Watch out. So what we're gonna do here, a little more, is I'm gonna is I'm gonna drive and he's got a strong hip, a lower back and hips, and when I drive, he hips me back down. If that's the case, I just touch my toe and go right back into it again. He hits me back down. I just he finally gets it. I touch and go again. Now, how much worse is that? It's a lot worse. <laughs> it's a lot worse because <laughs> it's like a python. I just keep going. And what he's doing is he's expending so much energy. It takes about three seconds. He finally gets me back. And he doesn't get any break because I just touch my toe instead of my knee. Now, if I touch my knee and go back, go ahead. It's a break. In fact, he could probably make a C out of his body. Go ahead. All right. So, um, rule of thumb is when you get here and he hips you back down, don't let hit, don't let your knee touch. Touch your toe. There's still a lot of pressure on him. He hips you back down. I'm still trying to get him over. I go again. You're gonna just kill this guy. Kill him. Just don't let that knee touch. All right. So that's the two pointers. But we got to move on. Uh, Power half. Man, we're flying through this stuff, and I'm sorry. Some of this stuff is probably. And just so you know, what are some things that he can do? And this is stuff I'm throwing out there, so you better just keep your sponges out. What is another thing that this guy can do? Hip down. Great. Who's that? Okay, two hands. Two hands. Good job. All right, so hip down. Hip me down. All right, and. and Crowd me. Okay, so from right here, see on your elbow? Right here, I'm gonna just grab my ankle and give myself a seatbelt. Give him a seatbelt. Block here, go ahead and move. It's like locking hands and cheating, right? Except it's legal. And I'm locking my ankle, right? Now, a lot of people, you know, this guy will hip down, go ahead, and you'll do this, right? And so then he bring, and you're trying to pinch here, but he just brings his knees, his hips down, and then brings them up, and then moves them high and gets out. Oh, darn it. You ever been there? Should have seat belt in. Here. Go ahead. Grab and tighten. And get to hip, and hip to hip. If you're, and, and then I post like this so that his tricep can't come back. Go ahead. If I don't post, go ahead. See that? So I got to. Hang tight here and post. Go ahead, get out. And then when I find an opening, I come up and attack. Yeah. High five. What? Yeah, 180. I thought you were going to have that. All right, uh, so I'm here. Hey, can I see belt now? No. So again, one of those things. Again, I'm not trying to maul that, this position. Some guys are good here, but I like this a little more. Look where my hips are. Are they tight around his? No. Cave it in, go. And it gets up to that home base as quick as possible. And then, you know, if he doesn't move out, I can try to elevate him and put him on his back, too. I haven't gotten a lot of backs with that, but every once in a while I get a fish and get some. All right? So that's your seatbelt. 
Flying. Anyone getting it? Grasping it? Ready for another seatbelt? How about we just drill these seatbelts for a second, and then we can come back and do some more turns. Sound good? Here's the second seatbelt. Second seatbelt. Gotta do two and one here, alright? He elevates. Alright? And I'm able to be fine now. All I did was this, right? Because why? I was in good position. I had a shallow boot, and my other knee was in the right spot. I just grabbed my own leg. So if I had the left boot in, I'd throw, uh, bring my, drop my uh, left arm in. So go ahead and roll. Watch out, guys. Watch out. Go ahead and roll. Go, get out. Get out. And then when we want, hip them down, lock her up, take her over. Let's say he stands up with my seatbelt. So anytime I feel his butt, come up. All right, I just lock. Clears, it just, even if he's not gonna do anything, now I feel safe. You understand? Watch out. Oh no, actually, we're going this way. Now stand up. Fall off the side, take him back. He probably won't go on his back, he'll probably hip up. When he does, there's your seatbelt right there. See, this seatbelt's great. You get into scrambles. Oh, I'm about to get two. He brings his torso up high. Go ahead. Ooh. Got it. Oh, we're going this way. Okay, go ahead. What if we get here and he starts crowding me? Starts crowding me. Uh, turn down this way and crowd me. Okay. Never mind. It would, that is, that's the right one. Anyway, sometimes my point was you got to go to from to the other seat belt if he crowds you. Okay. Let's do. Uh, don't confuse yourself with that last thing you just done. Seat belt one. Seat belt two. How do we do it? Bottom in. It's going to be the difference of hipping them down, and staying like this, over here. And the second one, I'm just doing this. If you roll with this seatbelt on, watch where you're going before you roll, okay? Go.